um, had a motorbike stolen when I used to work at the post office. Professional thieves stole it. Um, yeah, I've been a victim of crime uh, on a couple of occasions, um, but not, uh, not, not too bad. Um, somebody um, tried to break into my car at some point. So they smashed the car locks in, but the alarm went off, so uh, they kind of run off. I have witnessed things like antisocial behaviour, where I've seen very difficult uh, teenage children uh, on this date just causing problems to parents and to um, people living in the area and to the school really. Um, nothing's ever happened to me, but my older sister Georgia had a phone rock. So my friend steps on her first with a big small phone because people are trying to break into their house. Yes, my dad's van was stolen and he had to go and get it. This year, our school council have been focusing on three projects. The first main one is called ARC. This stands for Actively Reducing Crime. The school council gets a thousand pounds to spend on helping people stay safe around our school. There's Helena. Oh, here she is. Sorry, Andy. What was the last school council meeting about? We're not last school council meeting, Helena. We discussed our project, ARC which stands for Actively Reducing Crime. That sounds interesting. What do you do in it? Well, we get £1,000 to spend on whatever we like to help the school and community make free food. And um, could we have an assembly or something? Yes, we can. We can have an assembly where the police come in and talk to us about making our community a safer place. Great, that sounds really good. But one problem. We've got lots and lots of forms to fill in. We better get cracking then. What are you writing there, Helena? I'm writing what we do when we retire. Our school has lots of security. To keep us safe, we have CCT cameras which are monitored in the caretaker's office. The caretaker has walkie-talkies to communicate with other people around the school. There is a perimeter fence all around the school with large locks at the entrances and security lights. We also have internal coded locks all of these things make us feel safe when we are in school. On the 22nd of February, all of the school councillors, including the seconders and camera crew, went to the galleries, galleries of justice. We went and had a tour around the jails and looked at all the old equipment that the people in charge of the jails used to use. We all then had to find our own way back. And it was very spooky, and all of the girls, and a few of the boys, screamed a lot. You no longer have to pay to stay in prison. And that's the time I'm going to take you to now. You're going into Victorian England. So, uh, there's only one cell for you lot. Only one bed as well. So, I think some of you will have to sleep on the floor tonight, won't you? Yes, because we are in a prison, we do tend to specialise in confined spaces, so uh, we'll just have to pull up a bit. <laughs> now, there are a few low scenes, those deep stairs, please be careful. Be careful. We then had to make our way into an actual courtroom and then went through it properly. And the people playing the magistrates got to sit in the big, comfy chairs. It was a very educational visit and it definitely helped us with our art project. We all thoroughly enjoyed it and we'd definitely like to go again. They were two community police officers who came into our school to talk about crime and what we can do about the situations. Hi. 
Right, can council come to order, please? Right, we have three special guests today, so I mean, no, I think to do. This is Jenny. And these gentlemen are? I'm PCSO Jason Sargent. PCSO Greg Davis. And they're here today because uh, Jenny in particular was so amazed by your idea about doing something to calm the traffic on Henshaw Lane uh, that she thought that she'd like to get involved because as we've already discussed and you raised the point, what are we going to spend that thousand pounds on? Because it's not going to go very far if we spend it on trying to do something to that road. But thankfully, uh, with the help of Laura, she's put us in contact with Jenny, who's coming in to kind of explain what we might do next. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, please, that's okay. Well, what I'll do is I'll start by talking to you a little bit about what my job is. Um, now, you live in a neighbourhood um, which has got some problems in some areas of the neighbourhood. Sometimes um, crime happens, and sometimes your opinions don't get edited and that sort of thing. So my job, really, is to try and work with the people who provide your services to make them better, and to give you a nice community. We have done a PowerPoint presentation to show the local authorities, traffic management departments, what we actually want to do about the speeding problem. One of the problems that we are trying to reduce is car speed on Hemshaw Lane. We might be getting some posters to say that there are CCTV cameras. We might get some speed detectors to tell them to slow down or are crossing because children at the end of the day can't see the traffic because there are cars parked on the pavement. 